Right, welcome everyone to Ultimate Combat 10. I'm joined tonight by John Jones, uh, Ultimate Combat veteran of, uh, what was it, 1, 2 and 3, John? Yes, indeed. Okay, so to kick off the night, we've got uh, Wesley Murch and Thomas Henriksen. Um, and away we go. Wesley always looks to open up quick. We saw that in his professional debut. Good opening there for Wesley. He's oh. using that dirty boxing type yeah. of thing that Randy Couture does to great effect. Good use of the clinch there. Using the cage while. I mean, what, what we can tell you is uh, Henriksen not averse to any stand up himself. He's a uh, well experienced amateur boxer. Um, he started training with Lars Bassand, who I'm sure you know all about. Absolutely. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, can, he really does know his stuff. I mean, you're looking at Merch on the other hand, South West, I believe, judo champion. And as we saw in his first fight, again, he can mix it standing up. So this is going to be, I think it's going to be more of a test for Merch than uh, his previous opponent. No, I agree. Thomas, what Thomas needs to do now is start to pummel to the body a bit more. Uh, Wesley seems to have control of the midsection. Wes, Wes, tell me, John, Wesley seems to have the underhooks. Ah, that, uh, that answers the question. Tom, Thomas has pulled guard pretty quick. Thomas looks to be shrimping now. Yeah, he's got the closed guard on now. I was walking, I actually went through the warm up area earlier and I saw Merch practicing this with uh, his training partners. Right. And he was working a lot from this position. so. It sounds like he's uh, already picked up on the fact that this was a fight that was probably going to the ground pretty sure. quick. There seems to be a bit of inactivity here. Uh, I don't know what Wesley's game plan is. Thomas is tying it well, keeping it close. It's a bit, a bit of a difficult one to tell. I mean, um, you look at, excuse me, sorry. You look at uh, what Wesley's doing now, it looks, like is he stacking to strike? This is what I was just pass. Thinking. I think Wesley is more, judging from his first fight anyway, we haven't seen much of Wesley Merch, but, uh, Merch, sorry. but uh, looking at this right now, I'd say he's probably looking to stack and strike. I mean, we see a tactic used by a lot of uh, ground and pound specialists in, you know, not, not just the English competition, but things like the UFC as well. If you look at Merch, he is gradually working. Uh, Henriksen over to the fence as well. Yeah. Uh, it looks like he's using a lot of small movements now. Working a few shots in. There's some oh, good, good right hand shots. Good right hand shots. If you look at uh, Thomas, seems to be climbing up a bit now. He's climbing his up. Legs. I mean, saying it though, I mean, as was. You know, as I said earlier, um, Henriksen, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> comes from a uh, boxing background. Yeah. Um, and the triangle. those short little, short little shots that uh, Merch is getting in. I mean, I can't really see those doing much. So yeah, Merch wants it back up. Okay, let's see what Merch has got now standing. I think Thomas this could. Back up. I think this could potentially be risky for Merch. I think this could actually go against him. Yeah, no, I agree. Those shots by uh, Henderson there seem to be quite short. Uh, Merch's shots seem to be finding their place. Thomas seems to be falling short in the punches. I just think it's a case of finding his distance. I was going to say, do you think he's struggling with his range at this point? Yeah, he's probably just just breaking out of the. Uh, Ring rust. Let, let's see if it goes to the second round. I'm, I'm sure he'll be gauging that distance better. There we go. Okay, pulls guard again. The thing is, Merch doesn't. I mean, maybe it is his, in his game plan, but he, he doesn't actually seem to be looking to break the guard and pass. You know, which no, is what a no, lot of people yeah. do. I think he's quite happy just to, just to get a stall there and uh, get some, some well minor collateral damage at the minute. That, that may add up later. Again, he's, he's landing those strikes, but, you know, if he's not getting that hit, but he's not getting his body in behind it, it's all from the arm. Yeah. Thomas seems just, just competent in hanging on at the moment. He needs to start working his hips. There we go. 
Again, Merch just seems to be gradually working him towards that fence again. Yeah. Come on, Wes, get out in that flag. Come on, Wes, get out in that flag. Come on, Wes. It seems to be a bit of a stalemate. I mean, if, if you look at it, you can see what Merch is trying to do. He is trying to open up to land some blows, you know, to pull back and do some punches, perhaps. And here he goes, you know. Yeah, he's, he's more active uh, than Thomas is there. He, he, he tends to be stacking. Come on, Wes. Bell for the first round. So, what do you, what do you think, John? Uh, it's 50-50 at the moment. We'll have to see how the next round goes. I think Thomas needs to go up a gear now. Wesley's into his game. Um, he seems to be doing more work on the floor. Um, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but uh, Wesley seems to be quite scrappy standing. But I, I suppose that's just his his game. But um, Thomas was falling short of the punches. Maybe he can start to pick off his punches now. I'm sure Lars is going to give him some top tips. How to find his game now. As you would know. I'd score that even, first round, more or less. Hmm. Sounds pretty good to me. What would you score that? Uh, I'd say that's even, really. Perhaps <laughs> Perhaps Wesley did a little more work on the ground. Yeah. Oh, the ring girl or the fight? Well, either, I suppose. I'll take your pick. But, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, in all seriousness. So as I was saying, in all, in all seriousness, like you said, I think uh, I mean, we saw it there. He stand up, he, he drops his hands. He strikes yeah. with one hand. I mean, there, front kick, drops both of his hands. And as you just saw from that attempt to right hand by Hendrickson, I think that Merch could actually end up coming unstuck. He, no, he's starting to score now. Yeah, I agree. He's, uh, I don't think he cares to have his hands up. Back in the clinch. Thomas needs to pummel for the body now. Ross. We're going to get the scenario we had before. There we go. Exactly the same thing. And again, Henriksen pulls guard. Let's see if Wesley passes now. I think, I think he's quite happy to sit there. Do you agree? It's a difficult one. I mean, it's it's easy enough for wet for Merch to actually sit there and you know give these little short shot jabs, but depending on the judges' eye, whether they count or not. That's Let's the see thing. if we uh, if they get some. Yeah, we're starting to. There we go. He's found his range now. Thomas needs to do some work. Some of those shots are getting through. But he needs to clinch there, and he needs to work to that body. Again, Henriksen seems to be coming up well. What he needs to do here. Back into the guard. This is what I was going to say. I mean, Merch is a solid judo player. You know, someone comes to him doesn't matter how. You know, he's going to have a solid chance to score Absolutely. if he's taken yeah. down. I mean, I was going to say Henriksen needs to start looking at working the underhooks in a bit more. Yeah, sure. That's what I'm saying. He needs to come to the body. Uh, as you rightly pointed out, the, the, the judo guys have got just a great sense of leverage. You know, you've, you've got to be very competent at the body clinch to upset their movement. Um, and Thomas isn't pummeling to the body, he's just, he's just clenching around the shoulders. To that end, he needs to work more for the body pummel. And I feel if he did that, he wouldn't end up in the guard. Um, back in the guard now. Thomas needs to do a lot more work. He seems to be very inactive. Uh, now, I don't know if that's due to his inexperience. Or Wesley's got a cushion uh, game. And he's cutting the man off. Uh, it's, diff it's a difficult one to tell, but I mean, we've seen this scenario countless times in the first round, and we've seen it a couple of times now. You know, Merch takes it to the ground, and, you know, I mean, I mean we say about Henriksen not doing much, but when the fight goes to the ground, Merch isn't really doing much either. No. At the same point. What he needs to do here, I and mean, we've seen it for, with you know, the sort of more experienced professionals out there, you know, people people on the lines of, you know, strange enough, Lars Bassan, yeah. um, Sol Gilbert, all of those guys, you know, and what they do from here, I've seen it countless times with them. They'll sit up, pull their body away, but then they'll just raise off their knees ever so slightly and actually push the hips in. Right. You know, it limits the movement. Yeah. And then I they think can tee off. Wait, Wesley's to getting a, a, a low per percentage of shots in. Uh, Thomas seems to be using the cage. I, I saw him just pushing off the cage. Uh, 
Wesley Wilkins to the ribs. Seems to be a very defensive guard as well from Henderson. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah. You know, we're not seeing many submissions. I yeah, I feel he needs to attempt some more stuff. You know, he, he needs to go for things. Uh, mm. if, if anything, you know, just a reversal position. You know, just sure. get a I mean, he's, he's not even going for sweeps at this no. moment. He's climbed the legs a few times. Um, he's added some punches. From the bottom position, though, those shots, uh, you know, they, they have no real effect. Mm. Um, he, as you say, he's, he's got to work more positional stuff now. He's, he's got to be using his hips. He needs to be attempting submissions and reversals. Ah. Yeah, he's using the cage. I think if this goes to decision, Wesley will get it because he's just in a, a, a little more work. Judging High ratio of strikes. I, I, don't, I don't feel Thomas is doing enough. It's not to discredit him. He, he needs. I can see him working off the cage now. Which is all fair and well, but again, he's not doing enough from the bottom. He needs to do some work now. So he's, push, he's pushing away there. Using the legs well there. And I think that's a good call by him. Okay, let's finish on a high. Oh. Now this is this is what I was saying. This is where Merch can come and stop. He goes flying straight in. Yeah. Goes flying head in. Now I don't know all about Henry Singh's experience, but if if it was uh, you know more of a top class fighter at that sort of weight, you know someone like Paul Jenkins, for yeah. example, Paul would make him pay for that. <laughs> yeah. What what Henry Singh should have done then was finish on a high. He should have attacked. Um, let's look at the decision. I think that was a good bout for Wesley. Mm. Um, of course, the last one was short-lived, so he needed that experiential yeah. ability there, which he's just got. Uh, I think Thomas was a good opponent for him. Very much so. Very much so. I would have expected a, a little more work from Thomas on the ground, uh, but again, you know, if, if Wesley being a judo guy, you don't know how much of a crushing game he had from the guard. You didn't know how much space he was putting down. How much of control he had. It, it could have been problematic for Thomas, uh, more so than, than when you watch it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the same could go on for both ways. You know, Wes, Wesley Merch as well. Yeah. It was very, very, um, what's the word, inactive, so to sure. speak, on the ground. We were talking about the guard passes and so on. Yeah. I think, but, uh, I think Wesley's took that uh, just because of the work ethic. But that was a, that was a good one for Thomas as well. Um, he's got some good experience there. Tom, you know, uh, Wesley's a tough guy, a good scrapper. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to jump in there, John. Here comes uh, Phil Walker with a decision. Okay. Channel two. Now the minus facing this camera, please. Thank you, Andy. Just before we announce the announcement, give me a round of applause, please. The two more guys sitting out here. So it's going to be coming up with two. As we said, good show by Merch there. I think he won that just purely on the activity basis, do you think? Absolutely. I just feel he did a little more in the guard. Uh, he had a strong crushing position from the guard. Uh, Thomas could have done a little more work, but he'd learned from that. He'd come back strong. Oh. Good fight, good experience for both of them, actually. 